Hey, it's Alex Day from AlexFigures.com and today I'm looking at another red light therapy panel. This one by a company called Rogue Care or Rogue Red Light Therapy. Now, now the panel I'm going to be looking at today is their Rogue Pro. This is middle of the range. They've got Rogue have five panels. They've got their small tabletop panel, which is about six hundred dollars. I think it has about a hundred LEDs, right through to their Rogue Ultimate, which is massive something like 1200 uh, leds in it and comes in around four thousand dollars now the pro comes in the middle of their product range comes with 300 leds and costs just over a thousand dollars in fact it's one thousand one hundred dollars exactly though i do have a discount code so that will save you a little bit now i've got the box here and um i have already opened it and that is because there was no label or anything on the on the outside and i was a bit confused as to what it was um so we're gonna open it up again and uh, have a quick look. We'll, we'll go through my initial impressions. Um, I'll go through the key features, the key specs. We'll turn it on, see how it looks. And then, um, and then later on, I will be doing, not in this video, but after a few months of use, I will be doing a deep dive uh, review on this product. We've got the Rogue Pro in this box here. As I mentioned, it's a rather plain looking box. Nothing special going on here on the packaging department. Uh, we've got a one sheet info setup guide. Just quick look at that, it looks like it's all the usual usual uh, information, which is cool. Straight away you see that it is um, a little bit different. Uh, let's start with the boring stuff. We've got some power cables, another power cable, another one of these door hooks that's far too small to use on any of my doors. The pulley system, goggles and a little case, that's kind of cute. Uh, the standard hooks that go on the top but enough about that let's look at the panel all right so as you can see it is your standard uh, what I call body panel um, I've based these panels off the Juve Solo uh, you can get panels that are so much bigger and so much smaller now but it is the standard sort of size it, it might actually even be a little bit um, shorter than typical panel but 300 LEDs that's a lot of LEDs like some of the other ones in the size are only only around 120 LEDs 150 LEDs but these are quite small LEDs as you can see there there are a lot of LEDs on there 30 degree beam angle and these claim to have a 5 watt LED in them as well 660 nanometers plus 850 nanometers again standard standard stuff there uh, it is modular um, design friendly so you can clip another one on top uh, or, or beneath it and that's why we have the extra power cables there when you turn it around to the back you will see four fans on there um, the power switch from a design point of view it's nothing revolutionary uh, solid metal case rather weighty rather dense uh, you've got your rubber feet stoppers on the back for leaning against the wall um, there's no custom branding or anything like that. Actually, tell a lie. We do have the Rogue branding on the control panel here. Bottom wise, you've got a pretty standard setup there with the LC, uh, LCD countdown timer, time button, OK, and what wavelengths are running, red or near infrared. So yeah, nothing really like revolutionary or super exciting. These LEDs are, in, are interesting though, and I'm looking forward to testing the power outage in these uh, when we do the full review and also the comparison. Because yeah, a lot of LEDs in there, so that could be a bit of a game changer, not too sure though. Um, three year warranty on their panels though, that's, that's really good. Free international shipping, so that's a big plus. And yeah, cost price of $1,100, though discount code Alex should save you a little bit on that. Uh, let's plug it in and see how it looks. Alright, that's all plugged in, turned it on, as you can see there, it's come on with the timer, um, mode buttons, simply selects between mode and infrared, let's go both, time, simply adds minutes, probably go up to 20 minutes, because that seems to be standard, yep, 20 minutes, and then OK, we'll turn it on, and that thing is bright. So there is a bit of a whir with, this, with the fans at the back. Nothing out of the ordinary there, maybe even on the quieter side, which is nice. I will quantify that in the um, comparison series. 
Yeah, that is very, very, very bright. I can't even go directly in front, front of that. Um, I don't know if that's because of the beam angle, the concentration of LEDs on there, or it's just a higher power level. Uh, that will be interesting to test. Near infrared running there, uh, and you probably can't see it, but I can see these ones here glowing red. So it's, it's a diagonal approach. Um, we'll go back and turn off. We'll just have red light running. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that's incredibly bright. Gee, that, that's, that's quite amazing, really. That's everything I think you really need to know. There's not too much to talk about. As you can see at the top here, you've got those mounts for the modular design, um, control panel vents on the side, and your pulley system, door handle, these little clips that screw on here. I just wanted to keep this short, do a first impressions unboxing video. I think I've done all that. If you have any questions, leave them below. I will do a deep dive review on this. I will we'll get out the meters and quantify everything. And I will be comparing this, or including this, in my 2021 body panel comparison video, which is going to be out soon, very, very soon. Uh, so be sure to subscribe and um, hang around for that. If you have any other comments or questions, leave them below and I'll do my best to get back to you. All right, guys, bye.